everybody, Hikaru Cosplay here! <laughs> Before we get started on the vlog, I want to show off my Hanzo wig from Overwatch that I just finished putting together. I am in a huge Overwatch craze right now. This is one of four costumes for Overwatch that I'm putting together. Tracer will be for New York Comic Con. I've already done two versions of D.Va. This I'm hoping to do for MAGFest. And at some point, I would like to do the Edgelord himself, Reaper. But today's vlog isn't about Overwatch, as amazing as it is. Today, I wanted to talk about a pet peeve of mine that has started to really annoy me, and that is comparing cosplayers. Since the dawn of time, cosplayers have like always been compared, but with the rise of social media, it's everywhere. Now, I don't mind those articles that come out around Comic-Con that say, oh, the best cosplayers of Comic-Con. I'm not talking about that because, you know, you can't see every single cosplayer and that's kind of subjective. So that doesn't really necessarily bother me. I mean, you need a cool, kitschy, catchy article title to bring people in. That doesn't bother me. What I'm talking about is stuff like the phrase cosplay queen or queen of cosplay. That has started to really, really, really annoy me. Now, I've always kind of been annoyed by this, but I've never really been able to put it into words until WatchMojo.com did a top 10 famous cosplayers video a couple months back. This, is, this video would have been probably a little bit more timely if I had done it right after that, but I just, it really only until now have I been able to fully formulate my frustrations and share them with you. So they did this video and I'm like, oh, do we really have to compare cosplayers? Fine, I'm gonna watch it because I'm curious to see how they handled this. And they, you know, picked cosplayers that are just worldwide known um, there was only one male cosplayer in that list, which I think was kind of bad. And there were a couple of cosplayers who I've never even heard of, so I thought that was interesting. Yaya Han was ranked number two, and Jessica Negri was number one. Now, I'm not, I don't really care. I respect both of those cosplayers. There are costumes of theirs that they have done that I just have blown me away. And you know, they're famous for a reason other than their boobs. <laughs> um, and now I'm not gonna bash sexy cosplayers, that's not the point of this video. I've talked about sexy cosplays in other videos past. Lord knows I could certainly make another one because I always have stuff to add to that kind of discussion or argument. P.S. Let me know in comments below if you want to see another video talking about sexy cosplays and my opinion on them. But that's not what this is about. What was interesting about it was when they segued into Jessica Negri as the number one spot, they said, move, they were like, move over, Yaya Han, or something like that, because this cosplay queen, or this queen of cosplay, da 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 da. I'm like, whoa, okay, queen of cosplay, like, why is this a title that we have to fight for? Now, this isn't an uncommon phrase. I mean, even magazines like Cosplay Culture, who I really, which I really like, they said, oh, look at this Ivy Doom Kitty, queen of cosplay, and I'm like, why is, I don't see the need for this title, why do we have to hold one cosplayer above all others, why is this a title that has to be fought for? I feel like that's kind of stupid, because that's not the point of cosplay. The point of cosplay is to have fun, enjoy what you're doing, feel good about yourself, show your love for a character, learn new skills, yada yada yada. Cosplay is whatever you make of it, so, but like, fighting for a number one position or title, it's just, it feels ridiculous and stupid and just unnecessary. I don't see the point in trying to fight over and decide who's the best cosplayer of them all. Like, I get the need people have, like, to compare, and it's like you can't help yourself sometimes where you're like, oh my god, that one cosplayer did that character so much better than me, but that's not good mentality to have. That's not something you should constantly be working towards or fighting for. Like, be the best you that you can be. Don't be the best overall, because there's always going to be somebody better than you. Don't 
don't strive to be the next Jessica Negro, the next Yaya Han. Be the next big you. Find what you like to do, what makes you special. Work on that. You shouldn't be working on cosplay and doing cosplay just for the fame. That's not, that's just not a good reason to be doing something like this. It's not good positive thinking. It'll just make you upset. It'll make you frustrated. And that's just, that's just kind of negative thinking in a way. Just, and also, once San Diego Comic Con rolled around, Jessica Negri premiered her Roadhog costume. And a cosplayer friend of mine also had a Roadhog costume based off of the same design. And a lot of people were saying to my cosplay friend, oh, Jessica Negri did so much better, da 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 da. And it's like, why do you automatically have to compare cosplayers like that? You have to say, oh, well, Jessica Negri did that too, or oh, well, I like yours better than Negri's, or da da da. Like, why? Do we have to like one cosplayer's rendition over another's better? Why is that something that needs to be discussed? Just say, oh, I really like yours. Oh, I really like Jessica Negri's. Or, oh, wow, that's so funny that you guys are doing that together. I don't, it's just rude in a way, you know? It's just rude to even say that to a cosplayer's face. Oh, well, somebody else did that better than you. And even personally, it's not good to think, oh, well, someone else so did it so much better than me. I won't even try. You can't be dissuaded from doing something or enjoying something just because somebody else did it too. That's no way to go about life. Do what makes you happy. If you really like that character, you really like that design or your costume or you worked hard on it, whatever, just do it. Just wear it. Oh my gosh. That's just, it's the phrase queen of cosplay and cosplay queen has just become a huge pet peeve and I'm sorry if this video is not coherent enough or I'm not Pulling, pushing out my ideas and views in a way that's very easily understood. And now cosplay competitions aren't necessarily negative like this because the judges are also cosplayers. They're not sitting there choosing, you know, who's the best cosplayer, period, of them all. Who's the next queen of cosplay or whatever. They're sitting there and choosing based upon their experience and their personal ideas who made their costume the best, whose is the most impressive, and yada yada yada, and a lot of it's very subjective. It's, you know, and it's all meant to be in good spirit, good fun, and show, kind of like give recognition for cosplayers' hard work, and oftentimes it is very hard for judges to be able to pick who's the best, and they feel there aren't enough awards to be given out, that can be given out, and that a lot of cosplayers who deserve to be recognized aren't recognized. And that's just something I've noticed personally. So before you say, oh, well, cosplay competitions, yada, yada, yada. No, cosplay competitions have been around since before the idea of a queen of cosplay, to be honest. That's completely different. Queen of cosplay and cosplay queen, those titles came with the rise of social media. Now, social media and cosplay is not necessarily bad, but it can cer is certainly br brought about some evils, such as comparing of cosplayers, who's the best, and da-da-da-da-da. Again, that's all subjective. One person may love Yaya Han, one person may love Jessica Negri, one person may not like either of them. It's all based upon opinion, which is why it's so stupid to compare cosplayers and fight over this dumb title. It's not the point of cosplay. Goodness gracious. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Whatever. Let me know in the comments below if you feel similarly or you feel differently or what, or you have a comment to add or something to add to the argument or you want me to do a video on something else or whatever have you. Thank you so much for watching my rantish video. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.